today's book review Monday, amazingly enough, actually comes to you on a Monday. noted most of the destinations in the recent episodes have been to the library. And that's because I do tutoring there. But the last few times I was at the library I was looking at a display of children's books that they had out and I noticed that one of them was titled YouTube. I was intrigued by this and I was wondering if it was actually a children's book about the website, you know, like Alan Lustafka for kids, or if it was just an amazing coincidence. And so I finally went and checked it out and read it and that is the book I'm going to be reviewing today. YouTube by... You know, I actually don't remember who the author is, but I'll just play it here. The first thing that interested me about this book enough to check it out was just wondering how they were going to present the idea of YouTube to young children. The book is written in the same type of style as many non-fiction children's books, where you've got the main text and you've also got a lot of pictures and diagrams, and every so often they'll flash a fun fact in a box, you know, that sort of thing. It talks about the initial idea of just a site where people can share any kind of videos that they want, watch any kind of videos that they want, and it portrays YouTube as kind of the next natural step in communication. It talks about YouTube's place in presenting information. It talks about YouTube's place in building communities. It talks about the idea of how ordinary people can become famous through YouTube. And it presents the many, many, many different ways in which YouTube is used in today's world. And I think what I like most about this book is that the very fact that it even exists means that somebody is taking YouTube and taking vlogging seriously. Now it is a children's book and it is short and so it just gives a brief overview. It doesn't go really into depth into a lot of the aspects that I like about YouTube, like the community and the interaction, that sort of thing. But for what it is, I really do like the way in which it presents the site. I think for kids it is important for them to know about YouTube because it really is going to be a big part of our history. It already is a big part of our history. I mean, really, YouTube has changed the way we think about a lot of things. It has had a very strong influence on modern day culture, and that is exactly what this book is trying to say. And if you'd like to delve further into this subject, I'm going to direct you to Karen Cavett, Ex Perpetual Motion. She's doing this vlog every day in April thing, and she is using this as a part of a project that she's doing on YouTube and vlogging. For each video, she's asking a question relating to YouTube or vlogging, and she's using a lot of those clips in her project. And tomorrow's vlog driver video is actually going to be a response to one of her videos. And so I encourage you to go and check her out if you have not already. And with that, I will see you tomorrow for a Question Tuesday. Bye-bye.